right? In principle, mm -hmm. a, uh, a collective intelligence that is composed of the largest number of nodes where each mm -hmm. node individually has the highest capacity in itself and in collaboration, those are two characteristics, will have the highest total potential and, and to a degree which is coherent, which is to say that it has achieved a, uh, a frictionless or noiseless integration of its ambient potential, it'll actually have the highest actual capacity to navigate the space of the anti rivalries Mm -hmm. uh, that, by the way, is an end. That's that phrase I just said there, sort of an end of the journey of exploring the space of game B. And so mm -hmm. if you're trying to think of what would be the sort of the ultimate strategy in, in sort of all possible worlds, that's it. Like that's the ultimate strategy in all possible worlds is to uh, inculcate or to catalyze uh, or participate in the autopoiesis of such a kind of thing. Right? A, a kind of collective intelligence which has as its intrinsic that it... Um, brings into itself individual intelligences in a fashion which actually increases their their specificity um, mm. and their particularity, meaning it, 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 each individual person who participates in Game B is um, able to live their own values um, even better than any circumstance where they're not in Game B and becomes more sovereign, more capable of expressing and living their lives functionally and effectively in the world by virtue mm. of participating in Game B. That's the essence of what it is. And is able to do so in a space of increasingly effective collaboration with everyone else. Right? So the, mm -hmm. the net sum of that, that integration across the number of people, is the largest possible field of capacity to navigate the mm -hmm. anti-rivalrous, which then, of course, means it has decisive strategic advantage of everything that's happening in the space of the rivalrous.